All right, guys, now we're going to do problem 2, 3, which says determine the magnitude of the resultant force FR, which is the sum of F1 plus F2, and its direction measured counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. So if I put this over here, my drawing skills are not too, too bad, but they kind of are. So we're going to get like a resultant force at a slight angle, I'm estimating. It's always important that you do this so when you get an answer, you can more or less estimate that it kind of makes sense. So this one's easy, basically, because you got both forces and the angles. This angle right here is 60 degrees. All you do is 90 minus 30, which is even right here. And for this one, I don't like to think too much. I just like to add the uh, x components and the y components of the forces. So f one x component is this, and the y component is this, and for f two is this, and the y component is this. So f r x is equal to f one the x component of f one, which is two hundred and fifty cosine of sixty plus 375 cosine of 45 which is the x component of f2 and this is equal to 390.17 uh, pounds one pounds the y component of the resultant force in the same fashion is 250 sine of 60 plus 375 sine of 45 the y component is equal to negative 48.66 which shows that my drawing was a little off because if the force is negative it's going to be something like this and this is wrong but you see it was at least aiming in this general direction with some margin of error of course because we're human but you should always try and draw it and see if the answer makes sense otherwise you're gonna get in trouble and besides if you don't do that then there's no point in learning all this now that we have the x and the y components we can trans these are uh, we can basically transform it into polar coordinates you know that the angle is going to be negative or measure counterclockwise is going to be some huge angle like that basically what you do is you transform this into polar coordinates which you should know how to do and you're going to get that the resultant force is equal to 393.2 pounds always put your units that's a good habit to the angle of minus 7.11 degrees or you can measure it like this which makes no sense to me and you get 352.89 degrees I like the negative better but some teachers like this number better final answer 